what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darku and welcome to the first of many quick guides for the Pokeforce demo. So in this video I'm going to be showing you all the keybinds and little shortcuts you can use for the Pokeforce demo and I'm going to be showing you this on the keyboard and the controller even though it's disconnected, there we go. So we've got the keyboard and controller up and I'm going to be showing you all the shortcuts and all the keybinds that you need to know for this game. So first of all you'll want to know what the button is to interact with NPCs and world objects like picking berries for example and on a controller if you just go up to an NPC you can press the A button to talk to them and if you're on a keyboard you can press E on your keyboard. That will interact with NPCs etc like that. If you're in a Pokemon fight however you can also use your spacebar to select a move. Now moving around is as simple as WASD but you can also use your arrow keys just like so. On a controller you can just obviously use an analog stick, that seems very obvious but I figured I'd put it in there too. And to toggle your sprint, on a keyboard you press shift and you can start sprinting around from the get go and if you're on the controller just walking around like this you can press your left stick in as if you're playing a FPS game and you'll start sprinting as well and you can just press it in again to stop doing that. Next up then is how to use an item in your bag or hotbar for example and if you're on mouse and keyboard you can press escape to open your bag just like so and if you're on controller you can press the start button and like so it will open your bag just like this and you can drag things around if you have them to your one and two hotbars. Three to eight are not available during the demo but one and two are and obviously you can put things or gather things into your first and second hotbar. Once you've got something in your hotbar, by the way, you can also hit the tab button on the keyboard to switch from your first and second hotbar. If you're on controller, you can press your left and right bumpers to switch the hotbar as well. Once you've got something in your hotbar then and you want to use it, you can actually use your mouse scroll wheel to go through your tool belt just like this. Or if you're on controller, you can use your right and left triggers to go across the tool belt just like this. So with that information, if we hover over the bike, for example, or any other thing that we want to use, we can use Q to actually use something that we are hovered over in the hotbar. Once again, that is Q on the keyboard to use or not use something in your hotbar. And if you're on the controller, you can actually press X to use something in your hotbar, as well as Here's a side note as well, if you do own the bicycle in the game, you can actually just press Y on the controller and it will always do that even if you're not hovered over the bike. You can be walking around with nothing and you can press Y and it will activate the bike. As well as if you're on keyboard, you can actually press the B key and you can automatically jump on your bike too without having to scroll to it every single time. This does not apply to the raft however. One more tip I want to give you is about the UI. If I hide my character here, you can see that everything is absolutely wince because we're playing on a massive 4K monitor. And you can see that our tasks at the very top right are tiny, the UI down the bottom left to talk to people, etc. is tiny, and even our bag is tiny, and you're like, oh god. So not only can you actually press your escape button, or if you're on a controller, you press the start button, go to settings and you can change your UI scale, just like so and everything will be way bigger. However, if you just want to do a quick shortcut on the keyboard, you can hold shift and minus to make it smaller, shift and plus to make it much bigger. So there you go, ladies and gents. I hope this quick guide was helpful for you. I hope you enjoy the demo. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and look out for all the other quick guides I'm going to be doing for this demo as well. See ya!